Very distinct. Thank you. My next number requires a great deal of turgid tropical atmosphere. <laughs> and thanks to the courtesy of the American Stagehands Union, I've been allowed to move my own scenery. <laughs> Now this is a song about a lady from South America, a fairly disagreeable lady, through, who throughout her long and checkered existence resolutely refused to dance. Her name was Nina. <laughs> Senorita Nina from Argentina knew all the answers. Although her relatives and friends were perfect dancers, she swore she'd never dance a step until she died. She said, I've seen too many movies, and all they prove is too idiotic. They all insist that South America's exotic, whereas it couldn't be more boring if it tried. She added firmly that she hated the sound of pop guitars beside a still lagoon. She also positively stated that she could not abide a southern moon. And she could not refrain from saying that that idiotic swaying and those flat guitarists swaying were an interest to her And that she really couldn't face such international disgrace. She refused to begin the begin when they requested it. And she made an embarrassing scene if anyone suggested it. For she detested it. Though no one ever could be keen after little Nina and quite a number of very eligible men who did the rumba. When they proposed her, she simply left them flat. She said that love should be impulsive, but not convulsive and think of it. Had a discouraging effect on procreation, and that she'd rather read a book, and that was that. Nina from Argentina despised the tango, although she never was a girl to let a man go. She wouldn't sacrifice her principles for sex. She looked with scorn on the gyrations of her relations who did the conga and said that if she had to stand it any longer, she'd lose all dignity and ring their silly neck. She said that frankly she was blinded to all the over advertised romantic charm. And then she got more bloody minded and told them where to put their terrific palm. She said, I hate to be pedantic, but it drives me nearly frantic when I see that unromantic, sycophantic lot of sluts forever wriggling their guts. It drives me absolutely nuts. She declined to begin and begin, though they besought her to. And in language profane and obscene, she cursed the man who taught her to. She cursed Cole Porter, too. <laughs> From this, it's fairly clear that Nina, in her demeanor, was so offensive that when the hatred of her friends grew too intensive, she thought she'd better beat it while she had the chance. After some trial and tribulation, she reached the station and met a sailor who had acquired a wooden leg in Venezuela. And so she married him because he couldn't dance. So surely never could have been a more irritating girl than me. They never took in Argentina of this degenerate bambina who had the luck to find romance. But resolutely wouldn't dance.